your reading here. Over. I'm going to take a peek. Right, sir. Up ship, periscope depth. Up ship, periscope depth. All engines back full at up ship. Up periscope. Up periscope. Shut. Yeah, right, right. My beer, huh? <laughs> Hey, Maria! Hey, don't bother, I'll get it. <laughs> Here's the line. Oh, oh. Put him down. Oh. That's it, go. Yeah. Okay. 
one side. Hold it. Get him. Hold on. Oh, that's really bad. We're in trouble. Cheers. Ready, go. Go on, ready. He's on your side. Get him. Get him. Go ahead, sir. Come on, push it. Yeah, go. Watch it. Go. Ahead, Just go easy. Come on, sir. Come on. You got him now, Sarge. Come on, that's the way to do it. Come on. I can't break it in. You're ready. I'm sliding. <laughs> One or two eggs? Twelve. Twelve? Yeah. yeah. You want it with onions? Mm, it's too heavy. Yahoo! Our new champion! Yeah, hooray! Oh, wow! Wow! Presenting Celestino Matzingal. Against Sergeant Campbell from San Antonio, Texas. From San Antonio, pray for us. Did you order the omelet? Huh? Here you are. Double your money. Step right up. This card loses. This one, too. But the ace wins. Okay, here we go. Ace wins. Keep your eye on the card, because the hand is quicker than the eye. Ready? Yeah, go. Cut the ball. Come on. Where's the ace? Where'd it go? It could be here. You never know. Place your bet. You know what I think about you? You bet dollars, and you bet lures. Another ten for you, and uh, here's the ace. You lose. You lose. <laughs> Want to try, boys? Never can tell. You ready? All right. Place your bet, size that. $20 on my own Okay. Place your bet. Okay. Have the size on betting against the sergeant? Place your bet. Ah, come on, Pa. Relax. Don't worry. There's no way the American can win this time. You've said that every time so far. Ah, but this time it's a sure thing, Pop. Like candy from a baby. Yeah, but the sergeant is no baby. <laughs> You'll regret it. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Chelestine! I'm putting that in his ass! Oh, I'm Chelestine. I'm burning Chelestine. Anybody else a Chelestine on my turn, Cole? How about you? Help me. Oh, come on, Sarge. I ain't bet no more pies on. Come on. He's full come of on, Sarge. Come on, Sarge. Get the bubble. Go on, Chelestine. It's all yours. Push that guy down. It's all yours. Go, Sarge. Go. Show me manhood, Sarge. That a boy, Chelsea. You got him straight, man. That's my boy, Chelsea. What's he going? Boy, what's the matter? Look, you're wise guy. No, I'm, I'm, I'm. Hey, Kingo, look at Celestino! What? <laughs> over here, over here! Go out, Celestino, what's the goal? He's going to put him down. Put him down now. Watch. Go out. Push. 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 I saw you this time! <laughs> Come on, Fox! Make him see uncle! Make him see mother! Go tell his feet no! Shut up, boy! Let the thought be with you! Shut up! You can do it, Chelestino! Chelestino! Will you shut up? You Chelestino! Chelestino! Pressure! Go! Yeah! Boy! Come on, Chuck. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh, no, no. He's doing it. Don't cry, Celestino. You just beat the camp record. I'm looking on that money. Don't cry,
Hold it. This is a stick-up. What is it? I said it's a stick-up. Relax. Don't get so hot about it. I want the money. Move it. All you've got. Hey, take it easy with that howitzer. It's uh, not good to fiddle with it. It's got a trigger that's sensitive. Take your finger off it. That's better. Hold it. What are you doing? You wanted my money, didn't you? All right, flip it. The other pocket. Here you go. That's all? Well, you know how it is. I'm just a sailor. Your watch. Throw it. Go down. You're warm, warm. You're getting a little hotter, hotter, hotter. Okay. Chain round your neck. No, I can't give you this. Hand it over. A chain, no, my friend. Stakes? Okay, double. Hey, boys! A cheer for the new champion! <laughs> Hooray! Hey, Come on, we got a root for the guy! For our new champion! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go on. Okay, Kumba, put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. Can you match this? It's gold. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Hold this. Huh? Yeah. This is Swiss. Solid gold. Okay. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey! Oh! 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 Hey!
Defect is, Sergeant? <laughs> Superior officers don't have defects, sir. I like to listen to little birds. Oh, that's very interesting, sir. It is, Sergeant, it is. And especially the, uh, the conversation I had with that little bird this morning. Apparently, last night, another bar was destroyed. Is that true? Your men take these things too lightly. <laughs> too light! Dig in more! If I were you, sir, I wouldn't listen to the gossip of little birds. And if I were you, Sergeant, I would concentrate on coaching so that this uh, team becomes a winning one. If you insist on going around picking fights, it's going to cost you dearly one of these days. Do you follow my drift, Sarge? I do. Do what? I follow you. I follow you, sir. I follow you, sir. Are you, uh, Monkey Wrench? Yeah. I'm looking for an injector at Thompson. Huh? You mean you got a caterpillar? No, it's for my boat. Ah. And how is it you're putting on a boat which is supposed to put on a caterpillar? 
A caterpillar is a little bit different from a boat, I mean. There ain't no bad boy here that's gonna squeal. I mean, to me, it makes no difference. As long as you pay, I'll get anything you want for you. I'll tell you what I'll do. Look. Wanna go around with a 1936 Tommy gun to put on top of your caterpillar, huh? A 36 Tommy gun? Yeah. No. I want to make an old motor new. Get out on set! 22, 18, hut! Yeah, all right, hold it. What's the matter? Hey! <laughs> yeah. It's a football pie, Dono. <laughs> that ain't no souvenir. So throw it back, Popeye. Or didn't you eat your spinach today? <laughs> you see that? Yeah. You all right, Sarge? Yeah. Yeah. Get it! All right, now let's see you throw it back. A chance like this comes once in a lifetime. What chance? That someone like you should turn up. So, I'm your idea of a chance, huh? You're darn right. You beat him at arm wrestling. You could really teach him a lesson. I teach minding my own business. I don't give lessons. Hey, Baisa. This is really beautiful. Where'd you find it? You collect shells? I don't, but others do, thank God. How much is it worth? A lot. So make sure you don't break it. Oh, are you kidding? This is a collector's item. I'm just holding it. This is a rarity. <sighs> it was. I'm sorry, Paisan, it broke. Yeah, yeah, let's think about eating. Paella, Basque style. You idiot. I couldn't. Oh! It couldn't happen. It could have happened to anybody. Cream sauce here. Yeah. So, where was I? Mm. Cream, butter, and flour. Huh? A little spicy is better. We had some pretty good deals going before Sergeant Kemper showed up. Is it really necessary that you pick on the United States Army? What do you mean? we got to defend ourselves, don't we? Against the Army? Yeah, ever since Kemper got here, we can't black market anything. He wants to handle it all himself. American soldiers used to sell us things. We're not anymore. Uh, don't you have anything better to do, huh? There's no merchandise. The town's dead. Sprinkled generously with light cream. And the only thing I can do is invite you to dinner, boys. <laughs> yeah. Forget it. I can't even do that. Keep your mind on what you're doing. That 
the Navy hymn you're whistling. So? <laughs> Here we are. I told you I'd find a piece to Thompson for your caterpillar, okay? Yeah, but it's for a boat, like I said. Yeah, only what if somebody inspects your boat below and comes up with a caterpillar, huh? <laughs> then I'd be stuck. <laughs> what do I owe you for the injector? Yeah, well, put that down. Where were you Wednesday, October 23rd, 1973? It was a Thursday. How come you're so sure about that? Because it was my cat's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you ain't fooling me. There are only three people alive who can score from 72 yards the way you did. I was lucky I had the wind on my side. <laughs> it was a hurricane. It was Bill Simmons. Only he's locked up now in Sing Sing. And Nat Chayensky. Poor guy ended up in a wheelchair. But uh, the third one was called Bulldozer. Right? Ever hear of him? Bulldozer disappeared from the scene halfway through the game between Minnesota and Philadelphia on October 23rd, 1973. That's right. And since then, Bulldozer doesn't exist. Hmm. How do you know that? Oh, I read the newspapers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the papers didn't print why you retired. Hey, Smith. You yellow bulldozer. That's the reason why. Because you turned chicken. You were scared of the game of getting hurt. Well, you can think what you want. As far as I'm concerned, it's finished. Now listen, how about this Thompson fuel injector? How much do you want? Nothing, bulldozer. I don't want anything from you. Because you're not going to get this piece. And I'll tell you why. The day that you walked off the field, I bet everything of what I had on your lousy team to win. And thanks to you, I lost. And since that day, I have had nothing but troubles. I still don't know how come you turned up here. But if you're expecting me to give you this piece, so as you can leave again, forget it! You understand? Forget it! The bus for the guided tour of the Etruscan necropolis is loading at the main gate. Civilian personnel must show their base passes for educational programming. Who said that? Eh? I didn't say it. Bulldozer did. Your guys against us? Yeah, and a free-for-all, so pick the best men you got. We don't want any excuses. This way we'll settle the score once and for all. Tonight? You're on. The bus for the guided tour of the Etruscan necropolis is loading its main gate. Everything okay? Attention! I want ten men. Arkoff! Hip! Collins! Present! Simpleton! Here, Sergeant. Not you, creep. Your brother! Over here, Sergeant. Kemper? Sir? Did you know your colonel is a connoisseur of Etruscan tombs? One of my worst defects. You coming on the tour? Certainly, sir. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Excellent. Get aboard, men. All right, go ahead.
go. Hey, Tony. What? Are you sure he's going to show up? Don't worry. I told him we found a Thompson fuel injector. Yeah, but it's almost 10 o'clock. No, it's almost 10 o'clock. He's coming up. Turn the sign. Quick. We'll teach you a lesson. Down. Hurry up before they catch on. Move it, come on. It's never steady. It's either too much or too little. You never know. If this keeps up, no one's gonna make a cent tonight. And when the place is packed, is it ready? They manage to to break up the place somehow. You won't believe me, but since I opened this joint, I had to rebuild it four times. <laughs> Thank God nobody broke that yet. <laughs> the mirror, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Popeye, where are the others? Well, uh, my mother's in California, and who knows where my father is. You're a regular little joker, aren't you? First you come looking for me, now you're trying to back down. You playing chicken again, bulldozer? Yeah. First, no one looked for you. Second, I'm not backing down. And... And third, I, I don't like to eat an omelet with sugar on it. With sugar on it? With sugar on it? Put up your dukes! Duke! Wow. 
try this. to give you a hand. Yeah, and I'm going to give it back. Oh, very good. <laughs> Let her rip! If I answer that, sir, I'll probably end up facing a firing squad. I believe in horoscopes. That's interesting, sir. Tell me about the stars, sir. Now you see, Kempfer, I'm a Capricorn and you're a Taurus, and the two don't get along. And the present conjunction between Saturn and Neptune suggests that I send your little troop of heavies deep into the deserts of New Mexico, where it's 90 in the shade when it's cool. You're not the type to accept advice from Saturn, are you, sir? That depends. In this moment, Neptune says that after this obstacle course, a little stroll in the marshes with the leeches and water moccasins wouldn't hurt you in the least. You know what my worst defect is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm vindictive. Yeah, I get you, son. You're going to risk getting shipped out to New Mexico for the satisfaction of beating those clowns to a pulp. Yeah, I'm with you. When I finished with those paisans, the desert in New Mexico was going to feel like a Florida vacation. Yeah. <laughs> I said I'm vindictive, not an idiot. But I still want to bust them good. Right. They're going to be hit so hard, they'll have to park their toes mm -hmm. to brush their teeth. They won't forget it as long as they live. Yeah, and we'll open up an ice cream parlor in the desert. Don't worry. We're going to do it. In front of a cheering crowd and with the Colonel's blessings, too. We'll challenge them to a game of football. A sporting confrontation. Played by the book. A good, clean game. But not lacking in a certain semi. Toughness. <laughs> the whole bit. Umpires, cheerleaders, high-ranking officers, and us bashing their heads in like they was watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how are you going to get them to go for it? They'll never fall in a trap like that. Don't worry. We got a, a little ace up our sleeve that'll make them fall. You'll see. Mm, you're going to need more than an ace. You want to bet? Yeah, we can't have them push us around all the time. Anyway, we already accepted the deal they put to us. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. They challenged us. 
to a real game. And the bet's really fair. One touchdown, and the game's finished. For those goons, it's finished. All we gotta make is, is one touchdown right. to win. They really said that? Yeah, they sure did. And you accepted, huh? They don't scare us. Listen, what do we need to become a real football team? <laughs> to begin with, you kids haven't got the build or the stamina, and there aren't enough of you anyway. Don't worry about that. We've got reinforcements coming. And we only got a score, one touchdown. That yeah. was the bet we made. Mm. No, you'll never make it. That only depends on you. On me? What can I do? Are you bulldozer? Or aren't you? Right. The man that took a third-rate team from nowhere all the way to the championship. If you can teach us how, bulldozer, they can't stop us. Yeah, bulldozer. You can't say no. Listen, boys. Don't count on me. I found that spare part. They're going to deliver it and install it today. And I'll leave tomorrow morning. Good luck. Beautiful, eh? I finally managed to find the Thompson fuel injector for you. Uh, you're not saying that that's a Thompson, are you? Well, I'm not saying it's exactly... It's not exactly a Thompson, but yeah. it's... Uh... <laughs> and it's not exactly a fuel injector, either. Well, but... It isn't a fuel injector. It's a... But with some adjusting, a little going over, with a little work, you can do something with it. Yeah, with a little work, you can make a rocking horse out of it, huh? Like so. Oh, no. It will be a fuel injector when I modify it. Okay. While you're trying to modify it, I'll go look for an injector.
No, hold it. Here. It's yours. Oh, thanks. You the only one in there because it was dark. But I'll get you yet. Yes. You feel any better? Yeah, yeah, thanks. I'll, uh, I'll be leaving tomorrow. There's no hurry, you know. I just don't want my folks to see me like this. Listen, Bulldozer. They picked on the wrong guy. Oh, yeah? I didn't do anything to those lousy freaks. You gotta believe me. Relax. Why give me an explanation when I didn't ask for one? Well, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Why'd you say no to us? Because you haven't a chance against the she eyes. That kind of football was invented in America. Is that the only reason for saying no? There's nothing wrong with losing a game. What's the real reason? Hey, wait a minute. I don't remember asking you any questions. So why ask me? I think we'd be a lot better off if we started asking questions. <clears throat> Why don't you coach us, bulldozer? You see this? I swore on this medal I'd never play again. You just gotta coach the team, not play on it. It's like smoking. You say I'm gonna give it up, but before you know it, you've smoked the whole pack. So you kicked the habit and got the game out of your system? Yeah. You want to know why I quit, huh? They said I was chicken. And that I was scared of getting hurt in the game and ran away. Uh, they said so many things. I left football when I found out that certain games were being fixed. Yeah, I got a bad habit. It's a vice. It's stronger than just smoking. I believe in honest sport, and I don't like cheating. That's the truth. You know what I told you before about how they picked on the wrong guy? Well, it's not true. None of it. Hmm. I owed a lot of bread, a lot of money to the boss of a small gambling joint. That's why I got pasted. There's always something new to learn. I thought it was you that was, was in the right. You know, I used to go in for sports. But when you gotta get up at dawn and train, and you don't know if what you're doing is the right thing, it's no fun, believe me. And that's the reason we asked you. And that's the reason why I decided to come here. To bother you. Till you accept. Hey! Well, it's not the Tom's, yeah. and it's not even a fuel engine. Yeah. But you can't listen to manufacturers. They always want things their own way. Yeah. Hey. 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 Come on. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> she heard you. Yeah, she heard her master's voice. <laughs> nice sound, huh? Beautiful, beautiful. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks to you. So that's it. You've got the motor working and you'll be leaving tomorrow, hmm? Well, then, all I can do is wish you good luck. Even if, if you're going away, it's going to mean us forfeiting the game.
<laughs> Rise and shine, Gigo. <laughs> Hey, Octane, come on! game of football, huh? You sound like you've got asthma. Never get into shape yet? After all, can't you? Just start it. Jump, jump, come on. Loosen up a little. You couldn't play one minute. Oh, you're exaggerating, coach, because there's nothing to stop us from getting better. <laughs> Shut up! No more smoking, no more alcohol. Everybody gets up nice and early at dawn, huh? Yeah, I know it. At dawn? What about women? Yeah. I didn't tell you to play the game against these odds. Gee, those cigarettes are nothing. Ridiculous. Meanwhile, you won't need hey, this. You're not even going to let us play? Listen, I want to help you. And not just to play, but to win. When's the game? In 20 days. <laughs> They're going to be 20 rough days. Days you're going to remember for a long time. I know we lose. But we'll give them a game. A game they'll never forget. In place!
one touchdown. There's a lot of touchdowns. I was taking a look at the rules. <laughs> Forget them. We're going to start from scratch. To play football, you need two basic things. Agility and stamina. Stamina comes by training long. You learn everything on stamina. How do we learn to be agile? You don't. You've got to be born that way. Now we've been at it for two hours. It's enough. Oh, that's good. My stamina was running. Yeah, out. mine too. Do any of you clowns know who accepts stolen goods around here? What'll it be? Huh? Shave her a haircut. Make up your mind. Osvaldo. Is that a new style? Go get him. I don't know anybody call Osvaldo. Listen, buddy. You're talking to a killer here, not a blabbermouth. So what'll it be? Make up your mind. Shave my beard, please. You open that door, you go down a couple of steps, so you turn to your left. Go down the hall, it's the last door on your right. You're a man of few words. I like that. Hey, Macho, be a nice guy and get me down. I can't stand heights. Oh, thanks. The heights were better. The heights were better. Where do you think you're headed? To see Osvaldo. There's no way you can see him back. No, no, there's a way, there's a way. Yeah? Yeah. What happened? Oh. There's somebody huh? to see you. Yeah, a trolley car. Oh. Oh. How did you get in here? And your buddy. Well, I'm glad that you're a buddy. It's got a lot of rubies, Swiss. What a beauty, huh? Double casing, gold sure, plated. Oh, sure, too. that figure is double casing, gold plated. For the love of Pete, you mean they're still unloading this pig iron? You mean you let somebody get away with it? No, a little wise guy. He come in here with a bunch of filigree and this lead timer. But he's a shrewdy. He'll dodge you every time. He runs like a deer. There's no catching him. <laughs> That's my boy right on the head. Hey, I've been playing that horse for a month. It finally came in. Yeah, but a 20 to 1. Well, you got to figure he's been losing for a month straight. I mean, the odds can't go down. Listen, where did it come from? Uh, leave it at 10 now. Oh, what a They're telling me it always happens that way. Yeah, it's only 200,000 well, Better than nothing. You know, you should have tried a parlay. Parlay, my boy, this nigga. Give me that money. I barely got the dough in and have to cough it up already. Huh? Give me that guy's wallet. Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, Check if there is anything missing. Take a look. Boy, you can't say the police don't work fast in this town. Uh, Come here. What else do you want? Yo! That's it? That's all I gotta do? More on this. Well, it's not too bad. 
I could really get into this mm -hmm. thing. What did I tell you? Okay, I'm in. Uh, do I get any free time? You know how to keep me in business? <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> Great. All right, boys. Sure to learn from an old fox like Bulldozer. Yeah. We expected to see a bunch of softies. So much the better, actually. I mean, this match otherwise just wouldn't be any fun. Depends on what kind of fun you have in your mind. Wait a minute. What are you getting at? This is going to be a clean game. The Colonel made a point of that. Look what we brought you. Huh? Not bad, huh? <laughs> hey, what's these? Them shoulder pads. Okay, boys, let's unload this gear, huh? Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go before you sell it to me. <laughs> that goes for your boys, too, I hope. Huh? I'm relying on you to see that they play clean. Because I know you know all the tricks. Hmm? Don't disappoint me. I heard you were coaching these kids, and I said to myself, this is a tough game we're going to be playing. <laughs> You can't make a team with these boys in 15 days. What's important for me is that they believe in themselves and in sports. It'll be a clean game. No low blows. Shake, you gorilla. I'm beginning to like you. Hmm? You know that? Very bad sign. Let go of him! I didn't do anything! Get your paws off of him! Hey, you keep out of this high down. He hyped his watch. Prove it! I don't know about it, and that's the truth. What's going on here? My watch disappeared. Lay off the kid. You probably left it back at the base. Sarge, and we probably all did, because I was a missing too. <laughs> well, if you're dumb enough to let yourselves get taken like that, you deserve it. You... <laughs> okay. For just once, we'll dispense with the kid gloves. Come on. That's the way to go, science so free. Hold it. Take it easy. Ah! Mm. 
ખ્યાલ આપ્યો I gave my word there'd be no monkey business. Since when? Since now. Oh, great. Because I snitched this thing before. <laughs> They're going to come back. Probably not. Why? Because the gas vampire strikes again. <laughs> Push, boys. Back and kill him. Yeah. Take it easy, fellas. Just a few more days and you'll be able to get your sweet revenge. I can't wait to play that ring again. Yeah, right. Meanwhile, this is a good workout. Hay pelota redondas. Hay pelota que no. La que jugamos nosotros. Son pelota que no. ¿Quién te lo dijo? Me lo dijo tal. ¿Cómo se llama? El indio Chaparral. Nosotros jugamos. La pelota oval Y a mí me lo dijo El indio chaparral El indio chaparral El indio chaparral Chaparral! Copycat! You know what my coach used to tell me If you want a team that wins you teach them how to sing ¿Quién te lo dijo? Me lo dijo un tal ¿Cómo se llama? El indio Chaparral. Hey guys, if this is gonna help us win, it's easy to practice singing. Yeah. Hey, Paul, bring on the E. Yeah. How about this team of yours? I know you gotta build yourself up, but. Who's gonna pay for all of this? Oh, what are you complaining about? We elected you chairman of this team. <laughs> right, but you forgot to elect the treasurer. <laughs> the treasurer is the only thing that's missing. None of us are really any good when it comes to breaking through. Like yeah. somebody that can block for Jerry so he doesn't get dumped. If only we had somebody like... Like Bulldozer. Yeah, yeah right. right. How about it, Pop? Everybody all together. Okay. Yeah. Bulldozer, 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 bulldozer. I thought I made it clear. And Spitz knows it very well. I'm sorry, boys, but Bulldozer will never play again. You've done a lot for me, and I'm really grateful. If it wasn't for you, who knows where I'd be, but... I'm your coach, not an apostle. You can say whatever you like, but I don't want that guy in our team. You're the one who said we needed a blocker. Yeah, but I meant you. Take that out of your mouth. Sorry, I forgot. But you saw what he did to me. Yeah, I saw it, and I heard you say you deserved it. Yeah, but that doesn't stop him from being a mean son of a bee. We're not looking for a saint. It's like a rotten apple. It'll ruin the whole team. You were like that too. If playing sports helped you, why shouldn't it help him? You'll never get him to play anyway. I know how to tame these heavies. Don't worry. I suppose you do. But don't expect me to help you find him. Thanks. Shave or a haircut, what'll it be? Osvaldo. I don't know anybody called Osvaldo. Ah, oh, come on, shut up. I'm looking for a guy who, when he hits you, you think you've been put through a meat grinder. Listen, buddy, you know who you're talking to? You think you can push me, you're making a sad mistake. Because this is my personal business card. And this one here's mine. The bruiser you're looking for is one Alberto Sartigli, alias the bear. He's about six foot six. Even the, the police feel it's better to stay out of his way. He works mostly along the beach as a lifeguard, the cabana Miramari. 
If you want, I'll bring you to the place. Oh, no, take it easy. Oh, look. like this one any better. <laughs> Talking now? Yeah, okay. All right. always somebody who can hit harder than you. And that goes for me, too. just the rotten apples. There are other things that spoil a team, mainly the prima donnas. seven times like I used to. That's what I call it. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> so you're gambling again, huh? What are you, smoking? You crazy? Uh, it's okay. Bulldozer sees you. Ah, by the way, where is he? Well, he's on the beach with the bear. Training, teaching him some new tricks. Yeah, how to crack somebody's back. Special training for the new champ. Well, anyway, you guys, I got to split. Wait a minute, where are you going? Oh, you can't do that, Spitzy. Oh, sorry, guys. You go ahead and play the game if you want. I've got better things to do than to waste my time here, running after a dumb ball. When you're tired of this kid stuff, come visit me. Come on, you say it easy, Spitzy! Right, Spitzy! Fifty for me. Oh, 
six, six around. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place your bet. Let's go. Let's go. Place your bet. Tenor. <laughs> Come on, boys, get with it. This could be your lucky card. Play ship it. Twenty in the third card. Anybody covering that twenty thousand lyrics? I got it. I got it. All right, uncover your card. Then it is Jack. First card wins. Well, let me pick up it. All right, wait till I deal out. Somebody first. here is putting the jinx on us, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play ship it. Ten thousand number two. Give me another hundred. Keep it going. Keep it going. Everybody said. Okay. And with this, it's three hundred thousand lyrics. Yeah, I know how to add. Oh, Jesus, bad, bad, bad. Fifteen on two. Keep it going. Ten on Keep four. Keep it going. How about you? Hey, guys, it's Dennis late. Cup. Don't talk about football now, please. You betting? Yeah, twenty on number two. Up the cards. What do you got? You got two. Oh. Hey, you ought to win it. Hey, that's the brakes. Pass me the money, please. And there goes the motorcycle. Damn it. Hey, guys, it's already six. Yeah, and all's well. They're open here until midnight, so what are you worried about? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bet on the card. You okay, put twenty for me. Let's try mm -hmm. three. Right, twenty. Uh, what about the other 20. players? Those guys are going to get mad, you know. Ah, tell me, cake. Don't forget, you got to be ready in three days. The game's on this Sunday. Relax. This hand will be the last. How much? Uh, five bills. Okay, I bet twenty thousand and that's last it. Last bet. Okay, there we Can go. I bet another ten. Yeah, just put it down. Here you go. Turn them over. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's a good thing <laughs> I put twenty on. Finally made it. Eh? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. And that's just the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the great comeback. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah. Okay, place your picks. You're going. I'm going. Oh, why? Because you beat me in a fight. When someone beats me in a fight, I get attached to him. How come I'd work with you and not the others? It doesn't really mean so much playing that game. No, it's not the game. I'm sorry about those boys. I really thought I'd made it with them. Uh, look, before you split, there's something I want to ask you. What? How come they used to call you Bulldozer? Bulldozer? <laughs> Who knows? Well, well, there must have been a reason. Maybe it's because no matter what the odds were, I never gave up. Hey, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick your card, place your Oh, no. King wins. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. You can't win them all. No, we can't win any. You're giving us an evil eye in here. All right, enough of that. Here we go again. Yeah. My last 20 bills with you, me and five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place your bets. Put all your money on this card. <laughs> Bulldozer. What? Put your money here. All of it. 20. And 60 20, to 80. You got 80. 20 makes 100. 100 to cover. 20 for me. And 20 is 40. That's not enough. No? Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm? Let me cover your card. All right, another round. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep it down, kids. Keep it down. Hold it. All your money here. All our money? Come on. 20, 30, 40. 
Fifty, six, six. Oh, six, oh six, Another hundred. Two hundred to cover. Come on. One hundred on the board. A mm. hundred to cover. Fifty and fifty. Yeah, it's a hundred. Flip your cards. Kill! Hey, Blackbeard, you like fortune telling? Then go get yourself a crystal ball. No, with me, it's only luck. Show you what I mean. You don't mind, huh? So, nothing, 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 king. Nothing, 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 king. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, king. This system was invented in Las Vegas in 1929. Everybody knows it. Only these punks could fall for it. All right, take your money and come away. We got things to do. Here, hold it, you. Let's go, Gigo! Let's get him, guys! <laughs> Good for you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, have a cook with a kicker. Hey, Gigo. Yes, okay. Oh, you hit me and the other guy got clipped. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
you've been waiting for. But remember, it's the first impression that counts. Those clowns are expecting a hard game from us. Instead, we'll play it light for a while and make sure that first we have a nice lead before we start putting them through the meat grinder. I'll tell you when and who you got to clobber first. Okay? Attention! You scared? No, 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 and that's all. Can I say something? Go ahead. Since this is the moment of truth, uh, I want to say that I'm sorry for what I did. M me too. Me too. M me too. Me too. Okay. Um, me too. Okay. Instead, I'm happy. Because notwithstanding trouble, you still learn how to be a real team. How to be a real man. And that's all I wanted from you. For the once, Let's hope the worst team wins. Hey! 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 Where's my go away? I'm expecting to see a great game from you boys. And of course, the best team must win. And the sergeant has the best team. One might say he's absolutely certain. I hope I made myself clear. <laughs> When I say okay, everybody says okay, okay? Okay! Okay! okay. okay. The 
kickoff. Half Durban Rangers on the receiving end. A long high kick way down to the Rangers 20 yard line. And it's number 33, Jackson. Jigsaw Jackson who receives the ball and comes up fast around left end. Beautiful blocking by the Rangers. And it's Jigsaw Jackson all the way. Freezing through from his 20 yard line for the first touchdown of the game. John Felligy kicks the extra point and it's Rangers 7, Visitors 0. Hey! 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 John Felligy falls back, back for a pass. A high lob to Eddie Cusack. Another touchdown in just five minutes of play. Nothing doing for the visitor. Cut it out. Knock him down. And it's number 42 Ranger halfback Charles Hilton Brown weaving his way clear across the field. And there it is. There it is. Touchdown number three for the Cap Durban Rangers. <laughs> Ball snap back to Pelagie. He's going to pass. No, a feint to Jigsaw Jackson who comes steaming around right end. Dodges through the middle. Fantastic. Oh, he's stopped by Rossi. 29 on the visitor's five-yard line. Looks like Hilt Brown, number 42, is set to take the ball and go piling right to center. Just a few inches from the touchdown zone. Series, to Brown. And over. Over he goes. Touchdown. The pace is a little too exuberant. The Blue Boys are just no match for the Rangers. And the fans seem to be squirming a bit. Nights. Arkoff tackle. Wilson, you take right end. Cusack? Substitute tackle. First down. 25, 89, 90, hop! Quarterback Johnny Pelleggi carrying the ball around left end. He cuts through. He's heading right through the center. He is flying away. Tony Rossi right on his back. Number 38. He's down. He's down. Fumble. General scramble. Number 40, Kiko Masi is after the ball. He, he's got it. First down for the visitor. 52, 87, and uh, cut. Ball carried by the ball. It's gone. No, no, number 40 carries the ball. Tackled by Eddie Cusack. The umpire seems to be hard put as to what decision to take for the rather unorthodox way Gigo Masi carried the ball. The players hey! seem to have a few differences of opinions themselves. Hey! Time! They call this a ball game. <coughs> okay. Not too hot, huh? Not bad, kids. Going good. Don't you worry about nothing. We got to make one touchdown. That's all we need to win. Yeah, but they always get the jump on us when we start a play. Naturally, you telegraph your cues. You got to speak Italian when you're calling out, not English. You got to stick next to Jerry. And Jerry, you carry the ball like it was a wallet, full of money. You faint left, and then you go right through the middle like a tornado. Okay? Okay! okay. Ah, let's go! I want you to take that guy down. 71? That's right, the bear. Break him! Oh, what the hell is he Lateral pass to number 12. To 45, Jerry Rizzo. Visitor's star ball carrier. Coming up from his 30-yard line. Beautiful blocking by number 71, the Bear. Bear star tickling. Come on. He's mowing down the Rangers like toothpicks. And Jerry Rizzo carries the ball. Keep going, Keep going my And he's straight for the touchdown. Hey, hey. Now he goes. First up, Only a few yards away from the goal line. Come on! Get away to go, Jerry! Yeah! Classic, you give him go! Sergeant Harry Kemp, the Rangers coach, is calling time. Perfect. The born players. I want you to knock those spaghetti benders down! Now you listen good, Bear. You'll be covered, because they'll only think you're out to block Jerry. Instead, you, Jerry, will go right through the middle. Only five yards to make, you hear? And you kids are gonna make it! Okay! Okay! Hold on! Go! Okay! One, two, three! Rangers! Deep it! Set to it! I followed him! Give me the ball! The number 45, Jerry Rizzo going through center, and he's catapulted over the Rangers' scrimmage line! Beautiful play! Oh, that uh, must uh, uh, Hang on, watch the left! Uh, 
Uh, what's wrong, Jerry? Your leg? It hurt. All right, take him off. Don't worry, kid. We'll make it. And it's number 45, Hilton Brown, coming fast around right. But 35, Johnny D'Amico is closing in fast. Look out, Brown! Rumbles! I tell you! 28, Tony Rossi intercepts and is coming down fast for the visitors, dodging beautifully. Oh, and once again, Hilton Brown of the Rangers cuts him down at shin level. Mean play. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Uh, uh, all right, where does it hurt? My leg. Another leg. Hey, coach. We're ready. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. All right, look, down the line. 25-28, and watch that left tackle, okay? Okay. Yeah! Right. You guys, on your feet, stop fooling. Who did? We're very eager to play. No. And it's Jigsaw Jackson coming down fast for the Rangers in his inimitable style. There he goes, butting his way through like a ramrod. He's over the visitor's 30-yard line, the 25, the 20-yard line. And he jumps 88. Oh, Fixie oh, Romano, it's getting wild. The stretcher. That's the third time the stretcher has come out in the last 10 minutes of play. Uh, oh, he's got to run. Uh, no, 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 uh, not, uh, not the other, the... let's get it together. Oh, come on. Coach, we're, we're ready. ready. He said yes. Substitution, left guard, left tackle, numbers 35 and 42 for the visitors. All right. Say, we're fast, don't you? Next. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Bear, now is the time. If you don't make it, that's it. You see him? Block him! A lob pass out to Jigsaw Jackson, and it's intercepted by the Bear, number 71, coming up from his 10-yard line like a locomotive! Come on, go! Now the game was rough and tumble. Not altogether orthodox, but it was football. Now it's just 22 angry men run wild. Now cannibalism too. They even use guns. Well, thank goodness that the second quarter is over at last. This is a 
supposed to be a clean game? Why? Is something wrong? Everything is wrong. A game's a game. What did you expect? A picnic? <laughs> Not a picnic, but a clean game. If it's okay with the Yelps, who am I to complain? Come on, bulldozer. Let's face it. I mean, a man hasn't lived if he hasn't learned to accept defeat. Okay. Okay. You just convinced me. Goodbye, Amy. Shut up. I'm not so good. I'm going to the queue for passing the ball. Pull it, time out. What for? Substitution number 63. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that old number 63 is bulldozer. The Rangers taken completely by surprise. Playing for the visitors is one of the all-time greats of the gridiron. Returned to his native country after his unexpected retirement from the game. He's once again back on the field. Bulldozer. Didn't you swear you'd never play again? We're not playing a real game. Sir, I direct hint. A grenade hit our post, sir, and we... And we are awaiting orders. Roger. And out. I don't know about the Roger, but you're out all right. That's one, two, three, four. Hold on, back. Hey. Don't suppose you'll get to see the likes of this kind of football anyway. Not only are the visitors going whole hog, because there it is. Substitution for the Rangers coach. Face to face with the bulldozer. You'll never get your touchdown bulldozer. Watch out. Because here it comes.
my dear friend. You know what my worst defect is? Putting my faith in a nincompoop such as Sergeant Kempfer. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs>